attending any of the Pride Week festivals? Take one day at a time. Yeah, I'm very busy. I'm getting stuff right now. Very busy. There's so many ways. So, yeah, I saw. Anyways, okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Just one event. Thank you. Just one event. With the Toronto Mayor. Toronto Mayor Rob Ford there speaking with reporters on Monday. He's been under a lot of fire since announcing he will not attend Sunday's Pride Parade in Toronto. It's one of the biggest gay pride parades in the world. He's going to spend time with his family in the cottage country known as Muskoka. The situation has been made worse by his absence at events all this week, including Monday's Pride flag raising at City Hall. But now a local magazine in Toronto, it's called Now Magazine, is offering some help. Now Magazine says it will fly Rob Ford to his parade from his cottage. Why is a magazine that's been critical of Ford offering a round trip to the parade and is skipping the Pride Festival really a sign that Toronto Mayor is a homophobe? Let's find out from Now's editor and publisher, Michael Hollett. Uh, yeah. Michael Hollett, uh, Now Magazine, an alternative magazine in Toronto, has done a lot of things, but now you seem to want to get into the airline business. <laughs> why Why do you want to fly? Why are you making this offer to Rob Ford? Well, I think this is actually one of the most embarrassing things the mayor's done so far. He's done a lot of embarrassing things. In fact, I'm sure Rob Ford's watching uh, News World right now, and I'd like to speak directly to the mayor. Mayor Ford, you've, 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 simply, you've got a chance to, to redeem yourself on this one. We at Now Magazine will fly you in. We'll fly in one of these babies right here. It's called, it's a Cessna 206. It's called the SUV of the air, so it's got to be your kind of plane. We'll fly you right into the island airport, another place that you love and the rest of the city doesn't love. And we'll get you, pick you up at noon from your dock. We'll get you to the parade, which starts at 2, and you'll be back uh, back on the lake for burgers and uh, barbecue by, uh, by, by evening. Can't beat that I mean, deal. this is a pretty cheeky offer, uh, Michael Hall. <laughs> As you know, you've been very, very critical of Rob Ford. Uh, and in fact, you've even said that if he doesn't uh, attend the parade, and I'll quote you, it'll be hard to resist labeling you as a homophobe. Do you think that's fair uh, if he doesn't attend that it shows he's homophobic? Absolutely, you know, yes. I mean, you know, there's been 10 days, there's, there's 10 days of activity, of pride activities in this city. This is all about being an inclusive city. We <coughs> brag about this. This is, this is how we sell the city to the world. For the mayor not to be here is such a statement that, that he will not stand with the gay and lesbian community of this, of this, of this big, big city. It's, but, but, I mean, he's never said anything against uh, gays and lesbians or transgendered. Uh, you know, maybe it's not his constituency, clearly. Uh, he's clearly not supporting it, but does he have the right as a mayor, to, you know, he doesn't attend all sorts of events. Uh, does this show that he's homophobic or that he says, you know, I'm just not comfortable, I've got other things to do? Well, and I don't attend a lot of ceremonies. Well, being not comfortable is a kind of being homophobic. I mean, this is, is the idea that he's not comfortable standing with gay or lesbian people is a serious problem in a city like ours. And he has to be called on it. He's trying to hide behind his family. Well, you know, there's tons of families that come to, uh, to Gay Pride, gay and lesbian families, and kids in those families will be asking their two moms or their two dads, why does the mayor not like us? Why will he not be part of our event? Does the mayor have an obligation to attend this, this parade? Yes. I mean, even Mel Lastman went to this, and you know, he's, he's uh, not, another mayor that was not a favorite of mine in Now Magazines, but he had the brains and the political savvy, frankly, to come. And, and, he, was, and he was warmly received. It actually endeared an otherwise non-endearing mayor. Uh, Michael Hall, if he doesn't take up this offer, and let's be frank, the, the idea that uh, the mayor would take up Now Magazine's offer to fly him to Toronto is a bit of far-fetched, and, and I get it. Uh, but what are the consequences if he doesn't come under any, uh, under any circumstances? Well, I think it just it will give lie to his efforts to to say that he's that he is supportive of the gay of gay and lesbians in this city, and it, and it begins to chip away at the notion that the mayor should be a mayor of all the people, and I mean. It would, it's not such a big leap to think of, you know, what other communities and groups in this city, perhaps their nationalities that he doesn't want to be seen with. I mean, it's really not a healthy or approach for a mayor to take. Michael Hollett, uh, Now Magazine, a very interesting offer. The politics of Pride Week uh, continue. Uh, we'll be watching this very closely. Michael, thanks for being here. Thanks, Evan. Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day.